How's it going guys? This is Dan here coming at you with another sweet little podio hack. I actually figured out a way to set up Dropbox so that whenever you upload a new folder to Dropbox under your pictures, then it'll actually put a link to that Dropbox folder on the corresponding seller lead. So if you're out at a property and you want to you know, get some pictures into Podio, now you can just basically snap some pictures, upload them to a new folder on Dropbox right on your phone, and as soon as you do that, it will publish that link. It will search for the actual address. Uh, this was a test. And then it'll publish the link to that Dropbox folder right here, and it'll add a comment saying the pictures have been added for this property. Pretty freaking sweet. So let me show you real quick how to set this up. So first what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create a text version of the address. So what you can do is just at the bottom here, add a field called address text, okay? And make it a single line field. So again, you go into modify template and you create an address text field at the bottom. Make sure it's a single line field, okay? And then you're gonna have to create a pictures app. So what you can do is just create a simple pictures app there's only two fields in this app. The first field is going to be an address, single line address, text field, and then a link field, which is also a text field, which is just a single line text field. This is where the Dropbox folder share link will get published. Once you've created the pictures app and then that seller or the address text field and the seller leads app, then you're going to go. We're going to connect Dropbox to your new Pix app so that whenever you create a new folder, it'll publish that uh, a new item in your Pictures app. And then we'll create the Globy Flows so that it publishes that link to the correct lead. So first, what we're going to want to do is go into your Zapier. You're going to have to connect your Dropbox account and your Podio account, obviously. And the triggers are Dropbox when a new directory is created, and then Podio, you're gonna create a new item. So you connect your Dropbox account, you connect your Podio, and what you do is I have a separate file directory or a separate folder in my company Dropbox called Property Files. And whenever my guy is out in the field taking pictures of properties, he creates a new folder with uh, the title of the folder is just the property address, just 123 Main Street. You don't need to add the city or anything. And so this will basically connect. You select the right, you select whatever folder you're adding your pictures to. It might be called Property Pictures or Pictures. You select that folder so that every time a new folder is created, it, in that folder, it will uh, know to send something to the Podio. So what it's going to do is you, so, you select your desired workspace. You're going to select that new application, that pictures app that we just created. And all you need to do is add in the folder name, the Dropbox folder name, into that first text field. This first text field here. And then the pictures link. So here's the, here's the text field and here's the link field. And then on the link field, you just add, you go to your share link which should be at the bottom share link right here, okay? It's gonna ask you to test the zap, so you're gonna test the zap out, and then what, what happens is this actually will search for a new Dropbox directory every 15 minutes, which is good, because that means you'll have time to upload the pictures to the link as well. But I think it, no matter when you upload pictures, it'll always be accessible through the link. So then you turn the zap on, so that now, now we have it set up so that whenever you're out in the field adding folder pictures, it's going to create a new item in this pictures app every 15 minutes, okay? So now we're going to set up the Globy Flows so that it actually submits that link back to the corresponding seller lead. So what you're going to do is you're going to refresh from Podio to make sure that that new app shows up and that new address text field shows up. And what you're going to do is in your main seller leads app, you're going to need to create a address, you're going to need to populate automatically that text field with the address. 
So very, very simple. It's just when an item is updated and the property address value has changed, you just update that lead so that that new address text field equals whatever address you know just changed. So that'll populate a text version of the address so that now you can search your leads by address in the pictures app. So this is very simple. It's when a new item is created from Zapier. You're going to run a search. You're going to search for you're going to search through your seller leads app for where that new address text field that we created contains the picture link address. Okay? So to sum it up, this is this is right here is what you typed in on your phone for that new folder, okay? And you're going to search through your seller leads for any uh, lead that contains that address, okay? So once it isolates that lead, you're going to update that lead with the picture link. So you're just going to choose uh, update picture link with the value of, you know, you just put in picture link right here. And then you can even add a comment and have it say, you know, pictures have been added for this property, click the link to view. So that's what we saw when I looked at that first lead. So I added a picture as a test on my phone. I just created a new folder called 124 Main Street. And I added a lead with the, where the property address is 124 Main Street. It automatically updated the address text so that now it's searched for 123 Main Street. And when it found it, it just added that property's pictures link and put a comment there. So now you don't have to worry about manually having to add in a link to the pictures it's just going to automatically add the pictures right into your seller lead and this can you'll be able to access these this picture link all the way throughout your seller lead process so that when you eventually get something under contract you can just send this link over to your buyer so that they can look at the pictures so hopefully this is a cool little hack that you guys will use to uh, save more time in your business more time for you to work on stuff like talking to sellers, expanding into new markets, hiring more people, and generally just having fun. That's what this is all about. So enjoy, and let me know if you guys have any questions. See ya.